There's one thing you can do in really any leadership situation to elevate your leadership and ensure you always get the best from yourself. It's whether you're building a team, launching a new strategy, or handling any of the myriad of challenges business leaders face in getting an organization to fulfill a vision, this one thing, which really is an essential leadership skill, is something you can always do to ensure you waste the least amount of time and stay clear-headed. Hey, John English here, creator of the Instant Mindfulness Method and the Wisdom Leadership Academy and founder of Ancient Wisdom for Modern Business. Hope you're having an awesome day. So what is this one thing? It's to keep your ego in check. And better yet, keep it out of your leadership altogether. It's the one leadership skill that applies to any situation. Now, over the years in founding different businesses and coaching entrepreneurs and executives through some very tough situations, I've identified four practices to maintain a strategy of keeping the ego in check. Now, first, I want to make sure we're on the same page when we're discussing ego. Ego has two sides, or we could say two modes of operation to make you miserable. There is the side most people associate with ego, and that is the side of arrogance and self-importance. But ego has another side, one that I often refer to as backdoor self-importance. This side of your ego is where you beat yourself up for decisions or mistakes you've made in the past whether the past is five years, five months, or even just five days ago. The reason I say it's backdoor self-importance is because the focus is still on you. So now that we're on the same page with the two ways your ego uses to keep you the center of focus, let's get into the four practices myself and many others have found so helpful to keep the ego in check. Use them to check in on yourself on a regular basis, especially if you're having any mental or emotional torment about work. Number one, the first practice to keep your ego in check is to let go of the need to be right. Results are what matter. Leading a team or an organization to the intended results is your job. So it's never about being right. The need to be right leads to being defensive, combative, and deadly tunnel vision all of which makes success in resolving any problem much more difficult. Be mindful of this ego trick, needing to be right, and release it when it comes up. Instead, move forward being open while using vision and powerful intention. The second practice for keeping your ego in check, don't take anything personally. People do what they do for their own conscious or unconscious reasons. Taking anything they do personal will only lead to wasted time, energy, and make achieving results so much harder. Taking things personally leads to being combative and a host of other ego tricks that damage relationships. It's your ego's way of making you the center of the universe. Nothing good comes from taking things personally, and it doesn't lead to the peace and centeredness of great leadership. Instead of taking things personally, embrace acceptance and guide people back to keeping focused on their greatness. Practice number three for keeping the ego in check, keep the focus on your people. A very effective way to keep your ego in check and avoid going down its rabbit hole of time-sucking, unnecessary problems of self-importance is to keep your focus on others. In business leadership, this is done by doing your best to uplift your team or organization. Lead them, inspire, and motivate them. Use acknowledgement and a commanding presence versus a commanding energy. A commanding presence is achieved with servant leadership that is heart-centered. All right, our fourth practice for keeping your ego in check. Take your work seriously, but not yourself. This is about keeping everything in perspective and avoiding the ego's habit of making itself the center of attention. An example is making your life all about whatever challenge you're facing in business right now. However big the challenge is, remember, this too shall pass. By using humor and remaining positive, you won't end up taking yourself too seriously. This will make it easier for you and your team to be calm in the face of a challenge. By simultaneously taking your work seriously, you'll remain focused. At the end of the day, there isn't any aspect of being a great leader or any challenge faced in leadership that won't benefit by keeping your ego out of it. I found the ancient wisdom practice of not doing very helpful in staying mindful 
And on top of how many ways my ego can get involved to complicate things. Not doing is the mindful practice of observing your own behavior from someone else's perspective or as, or as if outside of yourself. Now, how about you? How do you think keeping your ego in check is an important leadership skill? If so, what action do you take to keep your ego in check? This is John. Until next time, lead with the commanding presence of heart.